So I'm trying something out. What I want to do is actually send a signal from this Sony PlayStation 4 to two different devices. Uh, not at the same time, but actually um, at different times when we want to use it. So I can play it in another room. That's actually the hole I made to the other room, which has an HDMI connection. So I'm gonna try, hopefully it works, it'll be great. So when my son wants to play, he plays, and then when I wanna play, I play. Just got this in, this is an adapter to allow you to send one signal to two different monitors at the same time. The details will be in the, uh, in the uh, description below. Um, anyway, I got this from Amazon. What I'm looking to do is run my PlayStation 4 to two TVs. So I made a hole in the wall and I ran an HDMI cable from the living room to my son's bedroom. So I want him to be able to just plug this, his HDMI in and just turn on the PlayStation 4 from the living room to play in his room or play in the living room, whichever one he chooses. Um, without, you know, if we're using the TV... Then he can use his TV while we're using this. So I'm going to try it out. See how it works. This is the model number. I think it got good reviews. You know, that it actually works. So that's what I'm concerned about. That it works. I tried it with a splitter. But, you know, I guess the splitter is only going to be one in. And I had three out. So this is actually from the source to two out. Um, the other one is... Um, Um, what is it? Three in from three different devices to one HDMI in to the TV. Okay, yeah. So it's 4K HDR 3D one to two splitter. So it's supposed to allow you to. It's metal. Yeah, it's a lot stronger than I thought. It's metal all around. Screws are metal. And you, I'm gonna plug in the uh, PlayStation 4 here the input and I guess plug in the power which is a micro USB and there's no buttons or nothing so you see it sends it out simultaneously it, you don't need to switch between the two which is good just want to turn it on and it work I'm just hoping that you don't need both the same resolution on both sides but I'll find that out now so again this is it small model number and uh, the two output monitors okay let me see what's in the box some information and the micro USB connection all right so let's set this up and see if it actually works I'm hoping it works right, this is exactly what I need all right let's try it out that's my PlayStation 4. I have the wire going in the back. On the other side, yes, it's a mess. And it goes to the back of the TV. Let's look at the back of the TV. First, let's turn it on. Okay. So back here, yes, I have a lot of HDMI cables. This red cable is the one going to a splitter here, which I have to the TV. This is the dual uh, display uh, two-in-one adapter I purchased so this is the USB which is providing the power I have uh, as you can see there that white box area that's where the power is coming from to a USB charger this is this input is from the PlayStation 4 this is going to so this is the PlayStation 4 this is going to the TV and now I'm going to put the one that's connected to the other room, which has a yellow piece of tape I put on it. I used to switch the HDMIs, but I'm going to stop using that adapter. And now I'm going to plug it in directly. All right, so I plugged everything in. That's the actual adapter right there. The red cable is going, this red cable is going to the TV. This is going to my son's room. And that's coming from the PlayStation 4, and this is plugged into a USB charger.
to provide power. The ah, you can't see it. I have a hole in the wall that feeds the uh, HDMI cable. It's just underneath that black strap cable. It's on the other side of this wall. So I just basically drilled a hole from one side of the wall to the other. I uh, I hope you love my uh, patchwork. Um, and that's the HDMI cable. And it goes to the back of this TV that we just got. And I'm just doing a quick channel scan and uh, switches to HDMI to see if uh, we can play PlayStation 4 on the other side of this wall with that adapter. Okay, so I'm getting the PlayStation 4 coming up on the TV. Now let's see if it's coming up on the other side. Look at that, it works. It's not clicking. So let me go here. Let me try this one. Yeah, it works. And the remote control wireless signal. The PlayStation 4 is right on the other side of this wall. Basically right on the other side of this outlet. And the signal is, I'm picking it up. I was worried because these walls are very old war walls. They're like plastered walls and they have like a metal mesh in the middle with wood as a frame. And then they they um, apply plaster. This is like a 1930s war. So I was afraid that the signal would get messed up, but it looks like it's good. I'm picking up the signal and everything. So now we can be here. Low with the volume. We don't want to get copyrighted. Oh, wait, you can hear it over there, right? Yeah. Okay. See? And that's it. Oh, All right. cool. So, so it looks like it. Time. Let me try it out. Let me try a game. Let me have my son try out a game. He can let me know if it's working. Make sure everything, there's no glitches or anything. So I'm going to wait about an hour and see what happens. So as you can see here, I'm in one input. It's on. It's not affecting his gameplay. And as you can see, there's no noise or anything coming on on the other side. So once you switch the inputs, I'm not hearing what he's doing whatsoever on the other side, if you were worried about that. So how long have you been playing now? At least a couple of hours? Yeah. Any hiccups? Um, yeah, a few. What was the hiccups? The screen would go... Oh, no, no, but I'm going to say why that happened i know exactly why that happened now thank you for reminding me i'm going to explain that on the video go ahead anything else besides the blacking out no no lag no nothing mm -mm. everything working just it, fine it works like it would, would like if you were in front of it yeah right, so like the that. controller and signal Stupid and everything's awesome so everything's working gr well mm -hmm. okay currently i'm playing S infinite warfare so there's no lag no nothing it looks good mm -mm. okay Die, so, um, what my son was talking about with the blacking out, let me just explain to you uh, very quickly. What happened was that uh, I want him to be able to be using his TV, but I want to turn off my TV. So every time I kept turning off my TV, his screen would black out. So it turns out that it needs the power. So just for troubleshooting uh, tip, just to let you know. If you buy this device and you turn off one TV and the other one goes out, it's, beca it's because wherever the USB, where the power is being received, the power for the actual splitter here. So I had it plugged into the TV. As you can see, there's a USB opening there. I had it plugged into the TV. So every time I turned off the TV, it turned off the power to the USB, which caused the adapter to come to go off. If you can see on the bottom has a green light, so it needs power, so it would turn off. So when this TV, which was providing one connection, and the USB power, when I would turn it off, his TV would go off also. So I didn't know what was going on at first. I thought there was something, I thought I had to have both things on, but it turns out it's a USB thing, so I uh, ended up just running an extension cord with a, with a plug and um, that's where I'm getting the power from now. And now I could turn off the TV. So as you can see, the TV is off, totally off. Okay, so the TV is off. No power is being provided to it. And he's still getting a signal. I just filmed him in. So everything's uh, 
working great. So just a troubleshooting tip. Plug it into a USB, it's separate USB power, so you can turn off the power of the TV, providing the power if you plug in the USB connection, okay? Have its own dedicated USB power, then you won't have this issue. Okay, thank you. Bye.